wonder what I should wear for the fancy dress party this evening. Do you want to make a cool mask for your friends? My name is Akashi and I am from Japan. We have an ancient paper folding art called origami there and today we'll use it to have some fun. I can teach you how to make a mask that will have your friends wanting one too. Cool! Let me go and get some paper. Now we are going to try and make a mask that looks like a dog's face from this paper. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Let's start. Oh, I can't wait to finish this mask and wear it. The first step is to fold the paper in half. Your paper should look like this. But that is not half. That is a triangle. I wish I had someone to help me. Oh, wait a minute. Time to use my gizmo. Hi, who are you? And what's the matter? Hello, I'm JC. I folded this paper into half like this. But you folded it so that yours looks like a triangle. I'm confused. Don't worry, JC. I'm here to help. Let me show you something. See, if I fold this paper so that the corners touch each other, it means it is divided into two equal parts. That is, it is folded into half. But that's not folded straight. It doesn't matter whether you fold it horizontally or vertically or even diagonally as long as the two parts are equal. So remember this, when one whole shape is divided into two equal parts, the two equal pieces of the whole are called halves. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, so shall we begin making a mask then? So I have folded this paper into half. Now what? Now we fold this paper into a quarter. Do you know what a quarter is? No! Just like one half is one part out of two equal parts, a quarter is one part of four equal parts. See, right now, a square piece of paper has been folded into half. If we fold it again, like this, we divide it into four equal parts. This folded bit represents one part out of four equal parts or a quarter. Cool! Very good! Now, let's open the paper up so it is a half again. Done! Now what, Akashi? Now, we make the ears. Fold the outer corners inwards like this. There you go! Great job, JC! Now we have to fold the lower part up to from the nose. Yay! It's beginning to look like a dog now. Yes, and now the finishing touches. Add the eyes and nose with your crayons. And your mask is ready. Cool! Thank you for teaching me, Akashi. I've learnt all about halves and quarters for squares now. And I've made a great mask. Not just for squares, JC. It's the same for other shapes too, JC. Look at these different shapes. Each one can be divided into halves and quarters in the same way. I like the circle. It looks like a cake cut into pieces. Yes, it does. Now imagine that you took three out of the four pieces of this cake. What portion of the cake would you have then? Hmm, I don't know, Akashi. That's where fractions come in. You've just learned about fractions, JC. It's just that you didn't know that they were called fractions. Halves and quarters are examples of fractions. See, a fraction is nothing but a part of a whole. Oh, a part of a whole? Yes. We divided the square piece of paper into two equal parts or halves. Remember? Half can also be shown 
as 1 upon 2 or 1 part out of 2 equal parts. When we divided it into quarters, we made it into 4 equal parts. That means a quarter is shown as 1 upon 4 or 1 part out of 4 equal parts. Oh, I see. So, if you have a cake which has been divided into 4 equal pieces and you take 3 pieces, what fraction of the cake will you have? Um, I will have 3 pieces out of 4 or 3 fourths of the cake. Excellent, JC. And what fraction of the whole cake would the remaining piece be? One part out of four. That is one fourth. Or we can also say a quarter. Very good. You're really getting the hang of this. I think you learnt very well, JC. Now I have to leave. But here is one last riddle for you. I want you to divide this paper in half so that each half has three stars on it. And remember, half means that both pieces must be equal. Well, a square can be divided in half vertically like this. No, that's not correct. Then one half has four stars. Oh wait, I know. It can be divided diagonally like this and both halves have three stars each. Well done, JC. Now go, put on your mask and have fun at your party. Yay! I will have fun, Akashi. And I'm sure no one else will have a mask like mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I learned today. A fraction is a part of a whole. When a shape is divided into two equal parts, each part is called a half. Half is written as one upon two. When a shape is divided into four equal parts, each part is called a quarter. A quarter is also known as one fourth. One fourth is written as one upon four. Three parts out of four equal parts form three fourth and is written as three upon four. <laughs> <laughs>